Let's talk about honeybees. Did you know that 90% of beekeepers have Italian honeybees? By far the most popular of all honeybees. They are the benchmark in comparing against other honeybees. They also are very easy to find replacement queens should a queen fail or not exceed your expectations. Let's take a look at the traits of the Italian honeybee, and we will start with the queen. The queen, as you can see here, has a very golden brown abdomen, and sometimes it will have a hint of black or dark brown on the very tip of the abdomen. And how I usually find a, an Italian queen very quickly is I hold the frame in front of me and the sun is at my back and shining straight down. And you should be able to find that the, the abdomen of the queen lights up like a Christmas tree and you'll be able to find her very, very quickly. So that's the traits on the queen there. Let's go to the worker bee. The worker bee has anywhere from four to five stripes, and typically those are black, and the rest is a golden brown. Now, let's take a look at why these Italians are so popular. They're the most gentle of all honeybees. They're easy to work with, and as you're inspecting a hive and you accidentally drop a frame of bees, they're not gonna fly all up in your face on average. They produce the average honey collection and are the benchmark also for other honeybees. Now, the thing that we have to be very, very careful on is their fast buildup of the queens. In the early spring, when the maple pollen starts coming into the hive, we have to be very careful as beekeepers because that's when the, the queen gets the turbo boost on and is producing a lot of brood. That can be very, very um, troublesome to a new beekeeper by not adding an additional super to the hive, and thus they do not have the room to grow within that hive. Now, if that happens, they're going to swarm, and swarming means you've lost pretty much your honey production for that season on that given hive. So you have to be super, super careful on that side. But the, the quick buildup is a very much a positive because that gets them into the mindset of collecting nectar in, in the months to come. More bees, more nectar, more honey. Okay, let's talk about the negative traits. Italian bees are reluctant to fly on overcast days. And this means there is limited honey production and other types of bees have a higher honey production because they will fly on those overcast days. Another aspect that you have to consider too is the Italian honeybees are not as defensive in guarding the hive entrance. So when you see drift happening from another hive and they're going in to inspect that hive, that means that there's going to be robbing. And robbing is simply one colony robbing the other of their stores. That can be pollen, it could be nectar, it could also be honey. So th that's all part of the robbing process that can and will happen if you have a weak defense on your guard bee. 